Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today, uh, we are trying out a Croxa deck. So this is a bit of a mid-rangey kind of deck. Uh, it does have some aggro elements, which are really, really nice, but it's got a lot of built-in tech. So uh, to quickly go through, we do not have any one drops. My one big gripe with this deck is it doesn't have any one drops, but uh, the two drop slot filled with some awesome stuff. Obviously Croxa here, uh, amazing card, does a lot of different things, discards, loses life, all the important stuff. Uh, Meyer Triton, a really, really good early game uh, defender or aggressor, really, because of that death touch. Gains us a couple life, so it's really, really nice against some of these other aggro decks. And then also fills our yard with things like Croxa, like Phoenix of the Ash, things like that. So it uh, also helps us out with Tamaret's Call. Uh, so lots of good stuff there. Uh, Agonizing Remorse, some hand destruction. Uh, does a lot of really, really nice stuff against the graveyard as well, so if there is any synergy there, uh, opposing phoenixes, opposing titans, this does a really good job of dealing with that, uh, assuming they're in the graveyard. Uh, Angrass Rampage, a really, really good kind of lucrative spell. Uh, obviously, it, it makes the opponent, it, it gives them the choice, I will say, so obviously it hits a lot, artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers, but... Uh, it is up to the opponent to choose which ones. So um, there's there's kind of a time and place to play these. That is why we're only running two. Uh, we do have two Murderous Rider to kind of give us a little bit more flexible uh, removal against creatures and planeswalkers. Uh, we do lose that two life. Not a huge deal. Uh, instant speed removal, though, very, very key. And then obviously a life linker on the, on the uh, backside of it. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant, great way to deal with early game threats. Uh, it's also just a really nice three drop uh, as well. Uh, Phoenix of the Ash, obviously great with this deck. The escape mechanic does come in handy, but it also is just kind of an early game beater. One way to get through for a lot of damage, uh, especially with that kind of fire breathing effect. Uh, Tamarite Calls the Dead, uh, nice way to gain some life. It's a good way to deal with the graveyard stuff that you're pitching uh, and also uh, get some 2-2s two out there. So it's not an amazing card, but I do kind of like this one in this deck. Uh, don't see a whole lot of this in general, though. Uh, Ashiok Dream Render, great way to deal with the opposing titans as well. Uh, it also shuts down things like Fabled Passage, which is awesome. Uh, Two Bedevil here, another flexible way to deal with artifacts, creatures, and planeswalkers, but this time obviously targeted and at instant speed, so really, really good. Uh, and then at four is our top end with Rankle. We have a three of here. Uh, obviously, you don't want to draw multiples at once, but uh, a really, really good way to kind of get in for whatever you need to do. If you need the opponent to discard a card, get them down to top deck range. This helps you get there. If you're looking for cards yourself, you can do that. And then, of course, if uh, if you're against a lot of creatures, you just make everybody sack. So lots of good stuff in this whole deck. Uh, Castle Lockthwain is a great way to draw cards. We do have Temple of Malice as a three of. And then Blood Crypt, of course. Fable Passage, obviously, just to thin out our deck. Um, this list was cultivated, from my understanding, by Day9. Uh, I've mentioned him before. He's one of my favorite uh, streamers and players. Uh, he also uh, obviously does a lot of casting, which is great. Uh, fantastic player and very, very excited to play with this deck. I think it's a really sweet one. Um, yes, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Uh, at the uh, While we're waiting on game one, we are going to go through three games as always. Uh, while we're waiting on this, though, to start, just want to mention, please do check out our Patreon. We've been releasing a lot of new proxies. Uh, those will be available to you uh potentially next month uh all the patreon every patron gets to vote uh on what gets play or what gets put out as the next month's rewards so uh do keep that in mind uh if you're interested in any of these new cards uh we'll go ahead and fable passage here we will wait till their turn um see what they do all right let's go ahead and do this go ahead and get our red source here uh, the Phoenix of Ash might be a bit awkward, but we'll certainly see as we go through uh, Bone Crusher Giant, so we'll pass. Uh, very tempting to just shock them, uh, which we may end up doing here, I don't know. Or we may just shock Teferi, we'll see what they decide to do. It looks like they're going to bounce the birth of Miletus, which makes sense, in which case we... Whoops, did not mean to auto pass there, that was just a mistake. Um... Let's let's Ashiok here. Uh, the great thing about this is we can mill ourselves, but it only exiles the opponent's graveyard. Uh, and there we get our Croxa, which is awesome. 
Uh, didn't Bone Crusher this yet? I'm gonna let them do their thing this turn, and then I'll Bone Crusher it. Sure. Deal three damage here. Makes sense. All right. Play land. Uh, definitely need a second red source, but let's go ahead and Bone Crusher now. Uh, before they have the chance to activate that again. Um, do I want to discard more? What's in their graveyard right now? I don't think I actually do. Uh, the big worry with these decks is uh, things like... Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, resolved. Very, very interesting. Um, oh, we did get our red land, though. That's nice. So what do we want to do here? Um, the one thing this deck doesn't deal with very well is enchantments, which I think is interesting. Maybe we just go ahead and play out Kroxa, because if this dies, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is also going to get a card out of their hand, which is nice. Um, discarding Shatter. Okay. So they're going to need to play a permanent here, which they didn't. So that's kind of good for us. Wow, really stocking up on Bone Crusher Giants here. Uh, I think we just get in with Phoenix. Um, they could have a counter here. Or Omen. Okay, so they will be able to discard. Uh, or to uh, sacrifice. That's kind of fine, though. Um, I don't care too much about that. Again, Phoenix of the Ash Dying isn't the worst thing in the world. So, like, that's kind of the great thing about this deck is everything gets to come back. Oof. Hate to see that. They're going to deal with this. So then the Doom Foretold is going to be sacrificed. Maybe it would have been worth it then to uh, get rid of their graveyard. This is a very interesting deck. It's very Smokestack-esque where we just have to... Uh, we just kind of have to grind out and hope we get there. Go ahead and play Temple here. Croxa, yeah, we'll keep the U. Um, we can double Bone Crusher, or we can just do this. I'm going to play second Phoenix here. Let's just get in for at least a little bit of damage. They're gaining a ton back with the birth here, but um, it does allow us to get through for some stuff here. I assume they just bounce Phoenix, that way Doom Foretold gets cracked? Oh, no, they're just going to bounce Birth. Okay. The recursive nature of this deck is very, very sweet. Get their planes. Yep. We'll go ahead and Croxa here. Also go ahead and do this, I think. We have so many cards that we can play and none of them are, uh, like very few of them are in our hand. <laughs> uh, this Doom Foretold is gonna get, uh, it's it's gonna do some work on, on their, or on my turn, I should say. I think this deck just grinds us out. I don't know that there's a way we can truly get through this at this point. Um, I think given a better draw, we could have potentially done some stuff, but I don't necessarily think we've got a ton of options here. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Dance of the Mass is just such a sweet card. Yep. Don't have anything to do. Uh, we do get to discard a card. We'll just discard a Bone Crusher here. Rankle. Do we like Rankle? 
Hmm. I think we play Rankle. Uh, let's do this and let's do this. Let's just see. Uh, also, I just want to point out, I'm learning with this deck, so I could be very easily misplaying a good bit here. Uh, so I do uh, apologize if there's a lot of that going on. Um, so many good cards. None of these are good for us. Yeah, I think they've just got a stacked hand. Getting rid of the Dance of the Mouse is just the best way to, to avoid losing outright, but um, they've got a million ways to deal with what we're doing, so uh, it looks fairly bad. I'm going to play it out just to see, but um, they're now doing what they need to do. So we can play a Croxa if we would like. I think let's do that. Exile that Croxa and a Phoenix. They're going to discard, I assume, just to Doom Foretold. Um, oh, just Shatter. Okay. Yeah, that works. But we're just going to sacrifice. I mean, this is where no matter what, we're, we're in bad shape. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Play this. But they're just going to double Doom Foretold, so like, this this deck is so grindy. I kind of want to try this one. Um, Doom Foretold is a very sweet card. I never, I, I saw a lot of lists with it, and it did fairly well, but like, I never expected it to do quite as well as, as it has. And here they've got this. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede here. They've got the game. Uh, unfortunately, just such a such a grindy matchup. Uh, not much we could have done there, to my knowledge. Um, so we'll see if we can get there. We'll we'll do the full three games. So we'll see if we can get at least a win. Um, I do really like this deck. I think it's got some legs to do some awesome stuff. I think that's a very bad matchup for this deck, uh, considering we have, I think, no enchantment hate at all. Um, got a lot of ways to deal with like creatures, planeswalkers, artifacts, all that stuff, but no. No main deck enchantment hate. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. All right. Enter's tapped. Mono red. Okay. Do we just crocs it here? Let's agonizing remorse first. Uh, woo. It's a very similar deck. Um, we'll take the Croxa, just so they can't make us discard. Uh, Ashiok gonna do pretty great work against this. Of course, we do have to deal with their board. So, do we play Croxa here, or do we play Meyer Triton? I'm gonna play Croxa. Make him discard a thing. Grim Physician. Interesting. They've got a lot of these little like ping effects kinda. <laughs> sure. Yep, very good card. Uh how many cards in graveyard? Three. Yeah. We're gonna pass turn. 
make him discard a card first. That puts him down to four. Hopefully they didn't get a land, is what we're worried about here. Wow, okay. <laughs> so this is where the lack of land is truly a problem. Um, we need to play Ashiok to get rid of their stuff, uh, but we can't take too much damage here, so I think we just have to pass. They discard. Bedevil that again. Taking a lot of damage, which is not good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Um, man, I mean, we lose if we don't do this, so I think we just have to. Feels bad, but I think we just have to do that. I will very happily trade this off here. Gone through three rotting regisaurs. That's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, they discard some cards. Let's go ahead and play Croxa here. This may not be the right play. I think Ashiok's a huge consideration here because um, it resets their graveyard. That's great for us, actually. Um, now we know we can just reset their graveyard, which is exactly what we want to do. I'm okay with trading this off here. Play land. Play Ashiok. We're gonna target ourselves. Get a second Croxa. Exile their graveyard so they can't play a Croxa. And then we get Phoenix out. And we will not attack. Very grindy game. We're gonna take out this first. Ooh, good one. Very, very good one. Uh, this is a card I think could be considered as well. This is a very strong card. It's agonizing remorse them. Oh, look at there. Um, and then let's play Titan. Two, three, four, five. Uh, we're going to mill ourselves again to get us to another phoenix. Good, good. And get rid of their graveyard. All right. See what they can do. They they do have the castle, so they're going to be able to draw some cards here. Sure. We want to start playing these phoenixes out then, and uh, hopefully do some, some major damage to them. Let's do this. Let's get rid of this. One, two, three. Get phoenix out. How many cards are in their graveyard? Not enough. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Sorry, great, great, yeah. And then exile theirs. Good. Just to get rid of that threat. Um, we have to be very careful of an opposing Croxa, so we can't attack with both. Let's just attack here. Oh, that might have been a mistake, actually. We should have attacked with Phoenix, because this still allows them to Croxa. But we will see. That's going to just go to me, I assume. Yep. So now if they draw a croc, so we're in bad shape. 
mistakes were made. Um, but that does also clear the field for us to just go ahead and start swinging in. So, Cool, we got there. That was a very close game. I thought we were definitely going to lose, but that worked out awesome, awesome. So we will go through one more game. We are one and one right now. Let's see if we can go for uh, for two and one. Um, I'm checking my phone right now because someone was asking about our proxies. Uh, so for, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, we do ship anywhere in the world. So uh, if you are outside of the US, that's perfectly fine. We will happily ship to you. Uh, we have it, it obviously is going to take a little longer to get to you. The way that that works is we send out at the end of each month. Uh, so, for instance, the February rewards were sent out at the end of February, uh, beginning of March, solely because uh, if people change tiers in the middle of it or uh, if new people come in, we just don't want to miss anybody. And we certainly would like to avoid trying to send multiple packages to the same person uh, if they are switching tiers, things like that. Um, so that's just our way of kind of alleviating that issue. Um, I know that does mean you get them a little bit later, so I do apologize, but uh, I think that that's certainly the best way we can handle it. I don't really know. I think we just take the Cloudkins here. I mean, Gross Spiral is fine, but like, I don't, I don't see it as a huge threat. I really like this deck. I kind of want to just give it a few shots, uh, even off camera, to see if I can really make it work. Um, I think we can just play this tab. And we'll just crocs it here. Keep it simple. Make him discard. It's probably just going to be a land, and that's fine. Yep. Yep. This deck is really cool. I have seen a little bit of this uh, going around the teamer kind of elemental style deck. Um, I kind of just want to one for one all their stuff right now. Target player sacks a creature, yeah. Um, get some more stuff in the graveyard then I can Ashiok once they, I assume they've got like an Uro or something. Um, huh. Okay, yeah, cool one. Very cool card. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna Mire Triton here. I know it's not as mana efficient, but it does set us up for the Croxa as soon as possible. Gains us a little life back too, so. We'll trade off one of these. What would we like here? They're doing their thing with Risen Reef. That card is just so good. It's ridiculous. Um, we can't double up on anything this turn. Let's Let's just do this. Make them discard, get a 6-6 six, six out there, and see what they can do about it. Um, this card is really, really annoying, uh, but we're not in danger life-wise. So the, if I'm not mistaken, the Forerunner's card is like the big issue. They can bring back Healer, sure. Ah, okay. Yep. Well, that's certainly a problem. Let's go ahead and do this. What do we need more of? Probably black here, obviously. Um, Exile their graveyard, so this guy's not doing his thing anymore. 
And then let's murder a Strider. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be a close one. Um, this is a really sweet deck. Got to be honest, it's a really, really cool one. They can easily just take out Ashiok now, which may be the best thing that they can do. We'll see. Um, that By contrast, they can just attack me and then have really good lethal swings next turn. Um, i trying to think what else they could have. Any Haster is going to put them in a good shape, so... In good shape. <clears throat> ah, okay. Well, they just win then. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that did not work out. So, only one and two with this Croxa deck. I am going to give it another shot, though. This deck is very, very sweet. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next gameplay video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it.